reached the opposite side of the shipyard. All right then, get them puzzle. And uh, by that I mean uh, greetings, this is Vlodril and welcome back to Let's Play First Noir. Well apparently there was a third uh, object that I couldn't see because you can't actually zoom in this game. So you need to connect this to that and go straight ahead. These wooden planks are good. It's time to test our emergency bridge. Let's get the girl and go. All right. In the balance. I'm always in the balance. Whether it's a whiskey bottle or wooden planks, it makes no difference. My life is always in the balance. Hopefully, no more puzzles for now. She seems to have calmed down now. She's playing with that mouse-shaped doll. Hey, kid, is everything okay? I miss him. Barrels and more barrels. It doesn't seem like there's anything else in this workyard. Can you move that or won't the pull you? As long as this barrel stays there, I won't be able to open the Course. door. Of course. Can you not push it? Weighs at least double my weight. It's impossible to move it as long as it's full. It's a fucking barrel. I don't care if it's full, you should be able to push it. Uh, adventure games. There, shoot it so it's not it's full. It's a terrible idea. It's a great idea. It's a terrible idea. I guess it will make too much noise. Uh, can you open it? No clue. At least got it. Caramba. Barrels and more. There's a door on the opposite side. I'm certain that it leads to the port's entrance. As long as this barrel stays there, I won't be... It probably weighs at least double my weight. Yes, I understand. It needs not to be full. How? Impossible. It can't be used anymore. Is that something? I can't see. Boat launches that luckily will never see the sea. Mm. The wood is starting to rot and the nails are completely rusted. The problem with this game is that it's difficult to distinguish what's in the background and what's in the around the player, the character, because you can't actually zoom in. This is why it needs uh, some sort of uh, points of interest. Maybe one of the nails used on these boats could be helpful. The rust doesn't seem to have corroded it completely. It can still be used. All right. I'll take more. This nail isn't coming out. Nah. This nail isn't. All right. I can put a hole in the bottom of the barrel. I could empty it. Once it's empty, it shouldn't be a problem to move it. Good. Now I can leave this damn shipyard. Hallelujah. Or go the child. John. Oh, you here? Where you go? Nowhere in particular. Start the car. We have to leave quickly. Quickly? What have happened? You have ended in trouble again? Enough questions. Get ready to leave. I have to get something from the yard, and then we'll go. 
I don't like this. You go to port without girl, and now girl in my cab. It's not your cab. Oh, always looking at detail. Anyway, <laughs> it's not normal find girl at port. At port, they're fish, bull, homeless people, not good. At the port, you find whatever is left behind. Until now, I found a dead body and a kid. Maybe someone else was luckier. You need go to police. I don't want to I be agree. accused of kidnapping because of you. Forget the police and drive. Ah, pointless talking to you. I've heard that before, but people keep trying. And you still not tell me where we're going. Someone is looking for this girl, and it looks like they would do anything to get her. Taking her to my house would be stupid. You only need half a brain and a telephone book to figure out where I live. Hence, I need a safe place. The game does like its exposition. John, you wait here and watch the girl. Now I be babysitter? Right. It'll be oh, good experience for awesome. when you have kids. I already have kids, but they far away. You left them in China? No, Detroit! They have Chinese restaurant! Whatever. Let's forget about it. Just take care of the girl. Seriously, he does that uh, a lot. Let me tell you now what uh, we're going to do and why we're doing it, etc, etc. Greta! Danazion! Greta! Answer me! Who is Greta, it's Jack. Jack, do you know what time it is? I know, Greta, but I need your help. You can't make up your mind on what brand of whiskey to get drunk on? Ooh, it's got nothing to do with booze. Open up. First, tell me why you're at the door to my place in the middle of the night. Open up and I'll tell you. I have no intention of opening this door unless you give me a good... Everything is difficult. <laughs> what was that? The reason why I'm here. But that's a kid's voice. What trouble are you in? Let me in and I'll tell you the whole story. While I'm explaining the whole thing, Greta helps me with my busted lip. That ape at the port almost ripped off my whole jaw. I tell her about Sean, the girl, and why I came here. After some convincing, she agrees to take care of the girl. When she's done cleaning me up, she takes the girl upstairs and is kind enough to leave a bottle of whiskey on the table. Ignoring the fact that my cut lip might reopen, I down a few glasses. I need to relax, and nothing relaxes me like a good whiskey. He speaks too fast for a noir character. He should be more drawling. Not so loud, uh, too. More whispers. Come on. Wake up. We need to get on board. Right. We have a boat to catch. What? It's the car that I came in. Oh, okay. I guess we're playing as um, Son now. Weird. The main voice actor should have uh, studied some noir films. I think before. Count me out, thanks. Yeah, why we'll do that? The harbor master's office. Is this where you're bored? Son. Didn't anyone ever tell you to say hello before you start asking questions? I'm in a hurry. Yeah, you kids today are always in a hurry. You're always running around and only doing things halfway. Things take time, otherwise you just end up with a bunch of crap. I'll keep that in mind, but I need to get on board urgently. Son, I don't know what brought you and that little girl here, but... This isn't a tourist port. Only sailors and fishermen leave from here, and you don't seem to be either. If you really need a ship, you can go to Riverside. There, with a couple of bucks, you'll find dozens of well-dressed sailors, who will be more than happy to ferry you around the East River and tell you all the juicy details about the city. I'm not a tourist, and I need to leave from here. Now. 
The only way for you to leave from here is as a sailor. No nautical documents, no access. Yeah, so it's not just the main character. The voiceover is hit and miss. Mostly miss. That's okay. I don't mind personally that much. Just found it weird. A half to board, it's a matter of life and death. I'm sorry, but like I already said, without documents, I can't let anyone leave from here. Forget about it. Whatever. Very helpful. First, I have to go through all the procedures to board. I don't know the time or the pier where the ship I have to board docks. Well, great. It's sad, but I don't have anyone to call. A can with a black substance inside. Maybe pitch. Hey, do you have an inventory system? Yes, you do. You have a silenced gun, wow. A bunch of money. A flask. Dry whiskey. My daily dose of happiness. Saint Marie. That's the only thing I can read on this napkin. I can't make out the rest. John Fard. Born in Portland, 1898. I'd better remember this. It will be my identity for a long time. Uh, then... Ford... Portland... Uh, 1898. Uh, John Fard. Born in Portland, 1898. Yes. I'd better Just remember this. 1894 there, by the way. Not sure. 1898. Whatever you say. I couldn't even get... <laughs> That's weird. Alright, let's give him the... <clears throat> this. Here are my papers. Hmm. So your name is John Ford. Right. A case of homonymy. What ship do you need to board, John Ford? Uh, yeah. The Saint Marie. Saint Marie something. I, I don't remember the whole name. The Saint Marie de la Mer. I know that you aren't a sailor or a fisherman, but at least try to study your part better for the next time, son. There won't be a next time. One last thing. The girl's boarding documents are in order, but her name isn't on them. Is she your daughter? Y yes, she's my daughter. What's her name? Emily. Emily Fard. Okay, the documents are in order. The Saint Marie de la Mer will dock in a few hours. Thanks. Good luck, son. You'll need it. Right, Key. Okay. Then Marie de la Mer. Interesting. Jack. 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 Oof. It seems like my bar is making you sleepy lately. It, it was ju it was just a few seconds of fatigue. You were saying a name during your moment of fatigue. What name? You were talking about an Emily. Who's that? I no, it's no one. I just had a bad dream. Speaking of which, did you take care of the girl? Yes. She's sleeping peacefully in my room now. Maybe you better go to bed too. You're dead on your feet. I can't leave the girl here and go away. Calm down. I'll take the opportunity to clean the joint a little. Oh. You should also tell me what do I have to do with your new friend. Who? The Chinese cab driver. Ah, Sean. I almost forgot about him. 
I'm not crazy about the idea that he might be going around telling half the world that he found a girl at the port. It's not like you could... Keep him here? I know I'm asking you a lot, Greta. Don't worry. I'll keep him here until he wakes up. But you owe me a favor. As soon as this thing's over, I'll buy you dinner at one of those clubs on the Upper East Side that you like so much. Sure. Anyway, get out of here before you fall asleep on my bar again. What the hell happened? Was <clears throat> if that was a dream, how the hell did he know all those details? That makes no sense. Yeah, no shit. Training constantly, apparently. He looks like he's in a deep sleep. Mm, yeah. Better not wake him up. He can't cause any trouble as long as he's asleep. Alright, where am I going exactly? Get to my house. Get ambushed. Well, whoever is in there. This is the fire escape. Knowing the high standards of this building, they might collapse as soon as you put a foot on them. Let's save it first. Oh, great. It's the guy we owe money to. Good evening, Dan Nero. Hi, Slavonsky. I guess you got my letter. Yes. Thanks for your kindness. Okay, so you know I'm not joking. And I heard about your mishaps tonight. It was definitely a bad night for you. Where'd you get this information from? I always know everything about my renters. I like to know what people who live in my apartment are up to. Right. No vested interest there. Exactly, De Niro. If you want to avoid any unfortunate problems, I suggest you pay me that back rent you owe me. I wouldn't want anyone call police tonight and tell them some bad things about you or your habits. Are you threatening me? Absolutely not. But to be safe, you could pay me what you owe me. I already told you that I'll pay you next week. Heard that old story too many times, Daniel. I want my money now. Damn Russian skin flint. Well, you owe him money, dude. It's not like extorting you or something. Greta's handkerchief. I'd better wash it before I return it. My blood's still on it. The money it's more than 50 bucks. It's mostly the money that, I'm embarrassed to say, I took from Sean's pockets. Can I... Here's your money. Okay, De Niro. This way we can get back to our pleasant owner rental relationship, huh? Keep the money, and your pleasant relationship. Anyway, I want to show you my loyalty to renters. I find out about your misadventures from police detective. A police detective? Da, one Ballard. He woke me up in the middle of night to ask about you. And when he found you weren't here, he asked to see your apartment. Did you let him in? Of course. I don't have any intention of upsetting police to protect a renter who always pays late like you, Del Nero. Tell me about this police detective. What do you want to know? What kind of guy was he? He introduced himself as Detective Ballard of State Police. He was pretty tall, had dark skin, was well dressed. He spoke kind of funny, <coughs> seemed like a foreigner. Are you sure it was a policeman? <laughs> what did he do when he went into my apartment? I don't know. He wanted to go in alone, but he was quick. He seemed unhappy when he left. Danazione. Malone is trying to frame me. Who knows what that guy was hoping to find in my apartment. I'm not interested in anything else. Good. Danazione. Why isn't the heat working? Problems with boiler. It doesn't want to turn on. Did you call a technician? Nah, technicians are good for nothing and want much money. Boiler is solid. A few adjustments, eh, it'll be like new. Until it breaks down again next month. Goodbye, Slavonsky. 
Goodbye, Del Nero. <coughs> oh crap. Ah, okay. Good. Uh, okay. Doesn't look different. Documents, an ashtray, and takeaway Chinese food. Everything, Everything looks the same. For a good investigation. No, I have something else to do now. What do I have to do? Is it time to... Do this? Perhaps... I don't have the time or the intent. No. Well, what the hell am I doing here then? I still have money. Five lousy bucks. That doesn't look like five lousy bucks. What the hell, game? Couldn't make some art for five bucks? Come on. That's lazy. A jar of lard. It's an old trunk full of clothes. There's nothing in there but. I want to see if they took anything. No, I don't have it. Fine. See nothing different. My twenty square feet of bathroom with my sixteen dollar a piece ceramic sanitary ware. So, hmm. Even though I'm really tempted. What the hell am I doing here then? Is there a goal I'm missing? I guess I can... What's this? I totally missed. You know what, I'll do that in the next episode. Thank you for watching, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you next time.